the future presidential communication secretary of Green Bear, the president. Wait, I thought that was going to be my job. To introduce Green Bear. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for coming to my presidential kid time story time, where we're going to learn all about all the presidents that came before me. I mean, they all came before me because I haven't been president yet, but it's good to know where you've been so that you can know where you are going. And other wise things like that are things that I will say when I'm president. All right, let's learn all about all the other presidents that have existed throughout time, giving inspiration to future presidents, like maybe one out there and the one over here. Let's see. This little president, a presidential primer. Primer means that this is uh, kind of teaching you the basics. You know, giving you a good solid basis of presidents to build your knowledge on. So, ready? Let's do it. Leading our country, helping you and me, keeping all 50 states safe, happy, and free. Little presidents have done a great big job. Oh, they sure have, haven't they? This little president flew flags red, white, and blue. He was our first leader when this nation was new. George Washington, here comes the general. That's what he was first, before he was president. George Washington was the first president of the United States of America and deeply beloved. This little president led with wisdom and care when the White House was built. He was the first to live there. John Adams and his first lady, Abigail Adams, quite the brainiac, that one. John Adams was also, besides being the second president, he was the first vice president. That's right, he was vice president under George right there. Jefferson, this little president was super duper smart. He liked buildings, inventions, books, fossils, and art. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence, and it's true. I went to his home and he kept all kinds of, of drawings and inventions and, and things about um, fossils and plants and books, 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 books. How many books, you ask? Well, as a matter of fact, how about nine to 10 thousand books. That's right. That's how many books Thomas Jefferson had. So many books that the Library of Congress, well, he was able to send just boatloads of books over there. It's like he was the original Amazon or something. Lincoln. This little president was honest as can be. He kept our states united and set people free. Abraham Lincoln was the tallest president and the first one to what? Wear a beard. Four score and seven years ago. This little president could really horseback ride. Yee! He was a brave general with patriotic pride. Ulysses S. Grant. He made Christmas a federal holiday, which is a really cool thing. Also helped us win the Civil War. Uh, and what else about him that's kind of cool, I thought? He wrote his memoirs, his biography, his autobiography, you know, the story of his life after he left the presidency. And you know who published his life story? Mark Twain. This little president was a cowboy ranch hand. He made national parks and preserved forest land. Theodore Roosevelt inspired a candy store owner to sell toy bears called Teddy's Bears. That's right. Teddy Bears comes from Teddy Roosevelt. But the funny thing is, is that he did not like being called Teddy. Mm -mm. You can call this guy Teddy, but not this guy Teddy. He preferred Theodore. And yes, because of Theodore, we have the national parks like Yosemite and the Grand Canyon and the Everglades. This little president told people not to fear. He gave jobs to Americans, which made them all cheer. Franklin D. Delano. Roosevelt was the first president in a wheelchair. Ah, this one, he told people not to fear. The only thing to fear is fear itself, he told people. This was a time when there was a lot of fear and a lot of uncertainty when he became president. He shepherded the nation through the Great Depression, through World War II, helped people get back to work again, helped Europe regain its freedom. Also, this whole thing about him being the first president in a wheelchair, Nobody actually knew 
in the public at large that he was in a wheelchair because back then the newspapers would only take pictures of him from the waist up and they would not show him in a wheelchair. It was sort of what they called back then a gentleman's agreement. But now they show everything. This little president had heart, style, and grace. He sent our first astronaut into outer space. John F. Kennedy was the youngest president ever elected. And yes, he was the one who is responsible for getting the space program really, really going. He said to the nation, we choose to go to the moon and do these other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. What does that mean? It means that we choose to challenge ourselves to become even better because things that are hard are always worth doing. This little president was once a movie star. He brought the world together both near and far. Ronald Reagan was the oldest president ever elected at the time, but not anymore. Actually, since this book came out, we've had two presidents that are elected even older. Donald Trump was 70 when he was elected and Joe Biden 78. So he no longer has the mantle as the oldest, but he does have the mantle as the president who most loved these jelly beans. That's right, he was a jelly bean fanatic. He had them in the White House, he had them in all the rooms. They are uh, quite tasty and quite delicious. And he was quite the president. This little president is a family man. When others say we can't, he declares, yes, we can. Barack Obama is the first African-American president of the United States of America. And that gave people a lot of inspiration and a lot of hope because something new had happened. And you see, anything can happen in the US of A. Hey, maybe you'll be president someday. So we've got all the presidents here, all the ones that we know and the ones that we don't know yet. And some of them are more famous than others, like Abraham Lincoln, he's a big one, my like favorite one. Um, but there are so many of them. Presidential history is super interesting, y'all. Also, so you see here, this book ended at the Obama administration and it has a question mark. So we know that since then, as of this reading, there was Donald Trump here and then here, is Joe Biden, and then after that, will it be you? If you're talking to me, then definitely yes. Well, I do need to point out though something, Green Bear. What, this does not sound positive? I don't wanna hear it. Well, you have to hear it because as a future president, you have to listen to all opinions. Oh, okay, fine, I will practice then. Okay, so um, you're not gonna be the next one because you're still not old enough. Oh man, they haven't lowered the age of president yet? Mm -mm, no, not yet. Oh, bummer. Well, I guess in the meantime, I will continue to work on my policies and, and my platform of chocolate for all. And I do not discriminate uh, based on the color of the chocolate you prefer. So if you like dark chocolate or you like white chocolate, which is not really chocolate, but whatever, that's cool. If you like white or dark or milk or the kind that has like little nuts in it, whatever chocolate you want, I am here for you. I am your pro chocolate president. Oh, 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 oh. And you know what they're gonna say about me, storyteller? What are they going to say about your green bear? That I was the first green bear president of the United States. Yeah, right, that is gonna be the first. I don't think there's ever been a green president. I didn't see one, let me make sure. You know there's not. Oh, let me tell you, let me make sure. Oh, let's see, 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 everybody's like pale beige or brown, but then me, there's no green. I wanna be the first green one. Also, none of them look like bears. Nope, I think you're gonna be two times the first. A two times the first? Oh, because I'm gonna be the first bear and the first green. President. Exactly. Wow, I have to go make a lot of history. Also, I have one more question for you, sir, before you leave. Yes, I am ready to answer any and all questions for my future constituents. Um, I noticed that Olivia the Ostrich earlier introduced you, uh, introduced herself as your future communications manager. Oh, oh, you know what? I forgot I had to do my homework, so I gotta go. Hmm. I think I lost my job. Anyway, kid, I hope you enjoyed this little president. And the really cool thing is that they all did something that still impacts us until today. That's the thing about being president. You do something and it just keeps 
having an effect throughout history. George Washington chose to only be president for two terms, and then that became the standard. Everyone said, oh, if Washington only served for two terms, that's the thing to do, two terms. So everybody did it. Well, with the exception of, because there's always exceptions, of, of FDR, Franklin Roosevelt, he was elected four times. Then after that, they said, you know what? Too much, let's keep it back to two and make it official. So now you can only serve two terms in a row. And so that's just one example of something that affected history. New policies are made, new ideas are put into effect, new programs are started, like, oh, like the national parks. That affects all of us forever and ever because now you and I can go and camp somewhere in some beautiful park and that's part of our nation's heritage. So you see, presidents make decisions that last forever and they all have made big decisions like that. That's why I love to study presidential history. So happy President's Day. Uh, and if it's not President's Day, just happy day. And uh, very, very proud to be the home of the future first green and bear president of these United States. I heard it and thank you very much. Thank you. Hmm. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Storytime, where we keep it patriotic. Baby, 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 baby,